Texas Tech upsets Texas, number 22 Texas, 37 to 34 in OT. And before I get into this game, I want you to hear what Joey McGuire had to say to his locker room after the game. Hey, I ask you to keep fighting. Yeah. So it's going to be when we came out of half, we had two more rounds to fight, and you did. I told you they were going to break, and they did. I told you they were going to break, and did. The reporter asked me at the end, says, what's it mean to win this game and beat Texas? I said, it doesn't mean anything to beat Texas. We're 1-0 in the Big 12. That's what it means. The country's going to find out. Everything runs through Lubbock. Everything runs through Lubbock. Hey. All right. There's a lot there. First of all, full marks to Coach McGuire for the best post-game speech of 2022. Okay? Let's unpack that for just a second. First thing he said that caught my attention was that it ain't nothing to beat Texas. Whatever, man. Wow. Like, Okay, that one is going, that would go leave a mark in the state of Texas, okay? All right? Because Texas is the flagship school in the state of Texas. That's where everybody's tax dollars go, okay? Tyler Rose, Ricky Williams, Vince Young, 05, everybody understands. Coach McGuire, who's in the Texas High School Football Coaches Association Hall of Fame, let's try saying that five times fast, also just said, nah, it ain't nothing to beat Texas. What it is, we want to know in the Big 12, which means Texas Tech, Kansas, Kansas State, <laughs> my God, <laughs> Baylor. What is this Big 12? It's super deep, but I didn't expect my Oklahoma Sooners to be at the bottom of it. My goodness. And then the next thing he said in there that I thought was really interesting is everything runs through Lubbock. Lord, I hope not. Lord, I hope not. But I get what you mean. I get what you mean, okay? It ain't exactly a freeway running to Lubbock, Texas. You know what I mean? If you've been to Lubbock, Texas, you understand what I'm saying there, right? Even Lubbock, Texas fans, even Texas uh, Texas Tech Raider fans understand, yeah, you got to want it to go to Lubbock. And you know what? Maybe that is the point. You're going to have to want to go to Lubbock to go and beat down Texas Tech to get something like respect in the Big 12 this year. And I think that's nothing to sneeze at. Their losses against an undefeated North Carolina State that I already thought was going to be good. So when I looked at this game on the schedule, I already said, okay, McGuire's got this one circled, even if you want to tell anybody. Because Texas put up 77 on Texas Tech last year, and Texas Tech has not beaten Texas till today in Lubbock since 2008 when we know Mike Crabtree toe touched in the end zone. Matter of fact, it's one of my favorite stories ever about football, where you got Graham Harrell, who's the offensive coordinator at West Virginia. You got Michael Crabtree, who's going into the College Football Hall of Fame, even if he got his chain snatched by my man Akeem Tlaib, also a Kansas grad. Saying to Mike Leach, yo, man, let us go for it. Let us go for the win on a, on a, where they had to go for the win. And Mike Leach just says, go run four verticals. And they ran four verticals. And Mike Crabtree bent it. Mike Crabtree took it in. They upset a number one ranked Texas. It's pretty great. It's pretty awesome. And then they get this win against Steve Sarkeesian and Texas today. Even as Burt Auburn, apparently, as producer Cat had said, learned from his mistakes against Alabama. My goodness. And then Deshaun Robinson, who never put the ball on the ground. Like a Najee Harris never put the ball on the ground. Put the ball on the ground in overtime. Texas Tech recovered. They were able to go get the win. Congratulations to the Texas Tech Red Raiders, who are living their best lives. Fresh off of being crown college football on fox's best fans in the country because they won that poll against my oklahoma sooners we just catching l's in all the wrong ways this year man texas tech upsets texas 37 34 in overtime and now we got a real fight for the big 12 championship in a way that we haven't in years i think I, this is gonna be so fascinating to watch rare excited to see what the big 12 can do going into the rest of 2022 Thank you for watching the number one college football show. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and like this video so that you don't miss any of the best college football coverage in America.